Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again, another advice video. My name is Pinky, I'm a life coach. Really, I like to say I'm a love spirit guy because I'm here about teaching you about real love. I'm here about getting you to understand your process of loving you, understanding you, and becoming you. And so right now, like, what spirit has really been honing in on is this quantum leaping energy because he wants you to understand the process of quantum leaping so you can continue to quantum leap because a lot of people can quantum leap but they don't understand the process of quantum leaping and they don't understand the process of what they're doing because they don't evaluate themselves enough to actually ask spirit like what are we doing how do we get here how do we do this <laughs> you know and i want to put it in the most simplest simplest terms for you to understand that and so right now now, like I told y'all yesterday, like spirit's been talking to me in the sense of of trying to answer me and understanding like why I don't feel fully trusting him. Why do I feel like I don't full I can't fully surrender? I can't fully be around him. I can't fully like embrace his love. And he's he told me simply is put it is like because you don't even value the love that you have for yourself. You don't even value the love that you really are trying to bring in. You don't even see worth in love. You don't even see worth within yourself. You don't even see what is so important about love and why we need love. It's like you value more of the materialistic aspect of it and you feel like that your success is based off of because you're still living in your old paradigm where your success is still based off of the aesthetic of it the material game of it the 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 aspect of you can only be successful and other people can only accept you once you are onto a certain level of your life and it's like you're still looking for validation of others and you're not looking for the validation that you have with inside of yourself right now it's like you're not valuating you're not evaluating you're not valuing the fact that you have yourself that you love yourself that you see yourself that you finally become one with yourself you're not actually seeing the value that is in loving you and gaining you and that's the problem right now the problem isn't that you can't get what you're wrong the problem is that you don't even value what you want <laughs> you know what i'm saying you want love and you base your worth off of love but you're still basing your worth off of the aesthetic and the material aspect of what love will get you and not just the fact that love is love you know you're not you, you're not you're not seeing the importance of what you created which is you you know, you've, you, you created you at this point. You've stood in you. You stood in your truth. You accepted yourself. You went through it all. You know what I'm saying, collective? You, you have even went against people who are really your family, who really don't accept you, and you still live with an acceptance of yourself. You know, you're, you're, you're in a time period where people around you don't even accept you, but you accept yourself enough to still continue to do what you know you love to do. And that's the problem. It's like you're still looking for that validation. You're still looking for that acceptance. You're still looking for that, for people to accept you, acknowledge you, value you, because you don't value yourself and you don't value you your own love you know when i came into 2023 leaving 2022 i said god i feel like a failure i feel like all i have got was myself like what where is that gonna get me i literally stood there and said that I stood there and said that like I feel like a I feel like a failure, but I know that I'm not, and I feel like I failed because all I've gained is myself. What the hell is myself gonna get me? And that right there is that that's the energy that he's talking about. How are you gonna to sit here and state that ah, my worth is in the love that I get myself? Where worth is in loving myself? My worth is in love, and you don't even value your own love. You don't even value what it takes to love yourself and what it took to actually get to the point of valuing and seeing that your work needs to be into love. You don't even value the time and attention and the space you make for yourself to be honest with yourself, to have effective communication with yourself, to have effective honesty with yourself you don't even value the fact that you're loyal to yourself that you you put yourself into solitude you put yourself into the fire to understand who you were so you can get everything that you need and everything that you want you don't understand <laughs> how valuable you are to yourself because you don't really value you and that's what spirit's been telling me <laughs> that's what spirit's
spirits been telling me like you don't you don't value you you want me to value you you want me to treat you right you want me to actually bless you with all of these things which i'm willing to which i'm willing to i'm willing to give you anything and everything that you want i'm willing to do for you move for you you've already put it in place what you want you already got the lifestyle that you want you already wrote down mentally of how you want me to provide for you protect you serve you you've already put what opportunity means to you what a love means to you you don't even see the value in the work that you're doing but you want me to give you all of that no baby no i can only reflect what you want me to do for you what you what you truly feel with inside of your heart and at this time you don't value you don't value your heart you don't value your love you don't value yourself you don't value you as much as you think that you value you 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 will value the validation of what other people can do for you but you don't value you like you need other people to validate you you need other people to speak for you you need other people to actually love you better than you can love yourself and and, and i can't do that I can only reflect what you feel with inside of yourself. So you're going to have to work on yourself. You're going to have to love yourself. You're going to have to know how valuable it is and how loving it is to actually, and how powerful you are at this time. It's like you, you're not seeing your true power. You're seeing you for who you used to be as a child. You're seeing you for the pain that you went through. You're seeing yourself as somebody who, who who's a doormat. And that's not who you are at all. And I'm not going to show you how powerful you are. Like I told you, God, God said, it's not the fact that I won't do for you. It's the fact that I'm not going to keep answering and showing you how powerful you are until you realize your own power. Like, I'm just... <laughs> I tell you, he, he dived deep into me like child he 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 was doing some stuff i said now nah, he was he was really coming from my neck really coming from my throat now nah, he was really like <laughs> checking me and i knew that because i had went to the park yesterday like i told y'all i talked to divine and i said why can i not fully trust you why can i not fully have this relationship with you why can i not fully embrace you then i went because after the park and after i got up and after i cried and after i talked to him i was like whew was the best release ever the best release i promise you i felt good i felt in flow i felt an energy and then boom i went home and I'm listening to Candleman. I'm listening to Lakia. I'm listening to Lotto. I'm listening to Trina. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm listening to them pimple hoes. You know, I'm a big P, okay? Big P, big boss energy up in here. And as soon as I'm listening to the music and I'm getting into the flow and I'm like, dang, I really want to go outside. It's time to go outside. It's time to be outside. It's time to be myself. It's time to attract. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Like, what? What? Like, big energy, big boss energy up in this bitch. And my mom was like, no, that's not you. That's not who you are. Remember when you were that little girl who still needed validation? Remember when your mama would always say when you act like this, like, you know you need <laughs> you need other people like who who's trying to put you onto this new wave who's trying to make you act a uh 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 not yourself you know how you are you know no, no. remember when your mom used to like suppress you you know remember how you've never been to really any function because you never really had the money to go nowhere so you you've never been like this so why are you trying to be like this now why do you think you're like this now why do you think you're you know why do you think you're all that it, it, it's like my own mindset was trying to destroy me as i was going into this new timeline as i was leaping into this new timeline as i was becoming more important with myself as i was about to live my life and just live in my fantasy and just be like yeah i am like that what am i worrying for what am i you know you know getting into that real energy of like what am i worrying for i know i got god on my back i know god is right there with me i know god is like really really loving me i know god is always working with me me and always gonna figure out a way to you know do his big one on me okay <laughs> he, he, he know you know what i'm saying and it was it was like something just came over me it was just like that's not who you are like remember back when and it's like i just went back to a past version of me and it just showed me how much validation that inner child within me needed valid 
validation that inner child in me needs to like really see like that you have always been abundant people have always loved talking to you people have always loved you know giving you free stuff because of your energy people have always loved you you just have never seen you this is how you are because i'm an aries i love to party i love to have fun i love to be there yes i have never had fun in the past but in the past i didn't even love myself i wasn't even confident being myself around my own family so how was i gonna be confident being myself around other people in high school like be for real you know what i'm saying of course i was closed off i was closed off at home but that's not who you are anymore that's not who you need to be anymore who i used to be is not who i am and i cannot go back to that as a reference point for my life and that's what i've been doing because i don't see the value in me I, I i've been feeling like i had to be i had to still stick to this old narrative when it's like no if you want to be this you can be this who said i can't be this like why can i not be this why can i not be a party animal why can i not be young wild and free why can i not be open why can i not be confident why can i not attract people to my life like other people attract people to their lives why can i not have this boss energy why can i not allow myself to just be free liberated <laughs> and just in love with myself why can i not be conceited it's like this energy of like why can i like why, why why am i not okay i was that in the past but also in the past i was never comfortable with myself because of this 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 and this but we're not living in that anymore no one has control over me but me so why are you keep going back to this old you as a reference point so it's like me having to really catch myself and be aware of myself which i love so much because it's january 19th and i think tomorrow is january 20th which is going to be the start of the aquarius season which is actually going to be really good because <laughs> the way that i see the movement is coming and the way that i actually like excuse me and getting so on track with everything because by the time like aquarius season comes that's movement that's 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 going with the stars that's that's just you're just moving at that point so you're really at a good time period if you're on what i'm on but even if you're not on what i'm on the process of you getting here is good it's good enough you you, you gonna come back into the video and be like dang i was doing a lot of work i was really loving myself 11 44 as i said i looked up and i saw it um it, it's just like you, you you're gonna get there baby just you don't have to rush just slow it down talk to yourself love on yourself i had to you know i had to really be in the bathtub because now i'm taking cold showers and in that cold shower i would like dunk my head in the water and the only warmth i get is from the hug that i give myself and putting my legs like closely to myself laying on my back putting my legs on top and like just i give you permission to live i give you permission to really live i i, I don't want to survive anymore you know like really talking to myself and really like giving myself permission to be this new person because it seems like i need permission from myself to be free to be me which is okay because sometimes you have to do that because you've you've had that permission from your mom to be in such a weak-minded ass state and from your mom or your dad or any legal guardian that you had your sister or your friends you know you had that permission to be weak but now you need to give that permission back to be powerful to be the the, the person that you already knew that you really was but you've been living in so much of a facade of yourself you forgot about who you truly were meant to be anyway and that's this energy of this time because it's just like you're not seeing the truth of yourself it's like if you want to be this new person be it if you want to be confident and you wasn't confident before be confident what what's stopping you from being confident why can't you be confident like why why can you not be strong why can you not be powerful why can you not be a party animal so you're saying that you have to live as like a slave your whole life you're saying like because you were because you wasn't born like that you were born happy you were born partying you were born <laughs> born wanting to be free and not be tamed you know what i'm saying so it's just this energy of like why are you feeling like you have to stay in that tamed energy when you know you're not a person that likes to be tamed you know what i'm saying and, and, and that was god was trying to reflect back to me it's not the fact that i won't bring it to you the moment that i try to leap you into something new you go back into something old you go back into something painful you go back into something 
like you 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 look at right now for a reference point and you're not actually seeing right now as the truth you're seeing right now as the pain because you haven't got to the ultimate goal of your material aspect you haven't got to the ultimate goal of like people in your current life loving you they are not gonna they're not on the same path as you so they're they're not gonna love you you know what i'm saying they're not gonna validate you they're not gonna accept you you got you got to get over that you got you got to get over that you know what i'm saying you got to get over that they're just not but if you accept yourself, that should be enough. And if that's not enough for you, then your opinion doesn't hold enough weight within your life. And that's what God was trying to get me to see. My opinion, my love, my, my energy, my time, my attention doesn't hold enough weight in my life to pre prevail me forward into what I want. Because I don't really see the value in me. I don't really see the value in love. I don't really see the value in what I do. You, you heard that, Dean? Y'all heard that, Dean? I know y'all heard that, Dean. <laughs> but that's that's what i came on here for today i just wanted to to really get y'all back into like seeing the value that you hold seeing the value that you carry seeing what's valuable to you and not what's like how can i get it, it it's like seeing the truth of the situation because a lot of us don't see the truth we see what we only see value in the material aspect, but we're living in a new time period. Remember when the old time period we was living in, like the value was in the material aspect. The value was in how you look. The value was in the cars that you got. The value was in just, you know, the, the look of it all, the aesthetic of it all. But now the, the value is in your heart. The value is in your wisdom. The value is in your, your intelligence, your, your ability to say what you want out of life, the ability to know Ugh, cancel the ability to know what you want to do you know what i'm saying but yeah just does does your opinion hold weight does your opinion hold weight does, do you really value yourself that's that's what we're going through but anyway i still have because i'm gonna wrap it up because i'm gonna keep saying the same thing and i feel like i can't break it down any further but during the week you're still gonna see me and you're gonna still see me like break it down more because now this is the next focus that i'm focusing on i'm focusing on loving myself i'm focusing on centering myself i'm focusing on being with myself you know I, I, i'm building a relationship off the divine based off of me now not not what everybody else thinks but based off of me and my own love and my own desire and he's he's just trying to get me to get to that point because i know he wants me to succeed he's ready for me to go and I'm ready for me to go. But in me being ready for me to go, all this extra energy that I have, I need to put back into like really validating myself, really seeing the truth of myself. Even if I have to sit here and just write all freaking day about everything that I have done and everything that I've accomplished to stay in this good feeling energy. And when any negativity comes up, I just, okay, well, da 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 da, -da, -da. Okay, then. That's cool. But, um, yeah, anyway that's it <laughs> uh i still have 30 minute sessions i still have hour sessions my email is pinky life advice at gmail.com pinky life advice at gmail.com you can email me i usually work through monday and friday but at the same time you can just email me and we can get a situation and we can get it together at the end of the day um <laughs> and what else what else what else i have the vin and validate the vin and validate i love the vin and validate because i want you to come and i just want you to talk your fears out i just want you to say what's hurting you what's not aligning with you why it's not aligning with you i just want you to talk you know what i'm saying especially with the learning to let go too because a lot of us just need to talk out our problems a lot of us need to talk out our issues that we have with that ex because we'll see that it's an illusion and you were so caught up in the potential of it and we really wasn't caught up in the the, the relationship itself you were caught up in what you wanted it to be for you and what what you needed it to provide for you so we, we're, we're really going to touch on how you need certain things to be provided for you in the learning to let go and then we have the self-reflection and a lot of us need to look in the past of ourselves we need we need to see how we're not living the timeline that we say that we want <laughs> you know what i'm saying we need to see um uh, how we we, we we really not like seeing the truth of the fact of like dang i am powerful i i, I am loving i am this i am that you know i i, I am something great so in that self-reflection we look back but we look back to see the truth of the matter and just how powerful you are and then um or even if it is weak, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it takes strength to look within your weaknesses and find strength within yourself. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't get messed up. Um, Self-acceptance, the self-acceptance, because a lot of people need to know who they are. I mean, a lot of people know who they are. They just don't know how to 
keep in right standing with who they are and be comfortable in all forms they don't, they're not aware enough for themselves that they still are living in lack of acceptance with yourself that's why you have people around you that lack the acceptance and seeing your own worth and then um and then and then i had another one <laughs> self-awareness because you know a lot of people are so clenched up and hard and we need to be more aware of how we are not allowing the divine to move through us so we have the self-acceptance the self-love the self-reflection the self the self 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 self-awareness self yeah i said that been invalidate and learning to let go <laughs> i hope that was seven because i should have seven courses seven equals the number of inner knowing <laughs> But yes, email me again, pinkylifeadvice at gmail.com. And I hope this helped you. And you can see another full breakdown on YouTube. My YouTube is Pinky's Life Advice. It will be in the link above you. And yes, so if you need more explanations, you need more videos, definitely go check out my YouTube. Definitely go check out my TikTok. That's Pinky's Advice. Pinky's Advice is my TikTok. If you need like breakdowns of everyday life and everyday like energies, I do that too. So. 